Hi, hello. Welcome to Vision Classes. It's a uh, classes for IGCSE, GCSE student. So today we have to discuss sine and cosine rule and how to use. We will discuss with a past paper question as well. So here we have a let's say triangle <coughs> ABC and the side in front of A is small a. Here B, then here C. So firstly, sine rule. It's a sine of angle A upon side which is equal to sine which is equal to sine c upon here small c then cosine rule cosine rule is basically if you want to find out any side then we can apply the cosine rule so here let's say a square a square is equal to b square plus c square b square and c square minus 2bc cos of we have to take angle a now here similarly or if you want to find out let's say b square or b side you can find it out b square is equal to a square plus c square minus twice a c twice a c cos of angle b fine and then or if you want to find out the third side that is c c square is equal to a square plus b square minus twice a b cos of angle c this is cosine rule and the last one is suppose if you want to find out area of triangle using uh, sine cosine rule you have a area of triangle a b c you have to take let's say a and b sides then you have to take angle between them a and b so it's a a times b times angle between them a and b is we have to take sine c that's it okay this is the area of triangle fine so these rules you have to apply for the any sine cosine rule applicative questions okay so let's understand through the example we have a uh, IGCSE paper 4 question May June 2021 20, so question number 6 straight away here question we have given the diagram shows the quadrilateral ABCD made from the two triangle ABD this one ABD okay and then B C and D okay th these are the two triangles so firstly we have to find out BD BD means this side this one okay so to find out bd what we have first of all we have ab that is 16 bd 19 and angle between them is given so we can use straight away cosine rule here fine so bd square is equal to ab square or 16 square plus 19 square minus 2 times 16 times 19 times angle between them is cos of 57 okay so b d square is equal to you have to take the square root of if you uh, use the calci and calculate whole things stop this video and do the calculation what's the answer you will get check it out fine so here b d is equal to square root of 285.8 okay so that will be equal to bd is equal to 16.9 that is what we have to show here fine meter so here we are done with this bd 16.9 then nextly we have to calculate angle cbd so angle cbd look at where this is angle c b and d this angle we have to find out so how we can find it out so you have here you have a this angle and the, the side in front of it is 32 then you can firstly find it out this angle angle c okay because you know bd right so angle in front of this c is 16.9 and then the you know angle some properties 180 right and you can quickly find it out angle b as well c b d so you can refer this diagram at the right corner as well fine sine of c upon 16.9 you can check at right corner so it's a sine of 75 upon 32 fine and if you do this calculation sine of c is equal to 16.9 sine of 75 divided by 32 and you have to take the sine inverse of so you will get c is around 30.67 means around 30.7 once you got this uh, 30.7 you can use angle some property of triangle which is 180 so angle C B D plus angle C is angle C A plus angle B D C is equal to 180 right and here angle C B D we have to find out so angle C B D plus 30.7 plus 75 is equal to 180 and you have to subtract 30.7 plus 75 from 180 
you will get around 70 point, 74.3 74.3 that's it once you got this angle cbd then you can find it out even area of quadrilateral so area of quadrilateral you have to use the sign rule you must know at least two triangle uh, sorry at least two sides and the angle between them so here in firstly we will find out the for area of triangle a b d a b d so one half times a b times a d sine of 57 so we know a b is 16 times 19 times sine of 57 which is equal to 127.5 4 7 is 5 then area of triangle b c d is equal to one half you know here b d times b c and angle between them the sine of you can use angle c b d which is 74.3 right so one half times bd is 16.9 times is 32 times sine of 74.3 right and then you can simplify this one one half times 16.9 times 32 times sine of 74.5 which is 260.56 means you can take out here six straight away so you have to add this to so area of quadrilateral a b c d is equal to area of a b d plus area of b c d okay just you have to add this 127.5 plus 260.5 6 so it's a 388.1 that's the answer got it i hope you understood this part fine then last one find the shortest distance between the b to ad so b to ad i will just explain here look at this one so this is b point and b to ad shortest distance is perpendicular distance basically so perpendicular distance will look like this one fine and here we will assume that this one is let's say m okay so this one we are getting right angle triangle and this ab is hypotenuse right so you can use uh, this is let's assume that m b is a x so you can use the sine rule x upon 16 is equal to sine of 57 so here sine of 57 is equal to x upon 16 right and here x is equal to 16 times sine of 57 which you will get around 13.4 that's it 13.4 meter is the x the shortest distance between the b to ad that's it i hope you understood our regular classes batches are going on suppose if you want to connect with us i have left the contact in the description box that's it bye bye thank you